hello kindergartners and first graders. I am so excited to see some of you in class and get to see some of your work with the nature art. You did super well and I loved to see all that hard work that you did. Um, today we're going to be learning a little bit about drawing in motion. Remember that artists get their ideas from a couple different things from observation, like what we were doing last week when we were observing our natural world and trying to draw it. And they get it from memories, so they remember things and they try and draw it. Um, and then sometimes artists get ideas from, um, from their imagination, where they're like thinking about something and they come up with fantastical creatures or stuff like that. And sometimes artists get ideas from their emotions. So I want you to start to think about what emotions you have. So let's start. You're gonna make a face, okay? Make a face, okay? And the, I'm gonna say a type of emotion. And even if you're wearing a mask right now, you can still make that emotion. Maybe you're gonna to have to show it through your eyes a little bit better. And you're gonna go ahead and um, do that emotion. So my first emotion that I'm going to show is sadness. Okay, let's make a sad face in three, two, one. Okay, stop. Good job. All right, now Let's go ahead and make a happy face in three, two, one. <gasps> so happy. All right, now let's make um, a angry face, okay? Let's make an angry face. All right, oh, first three, a two, a one. Make an angry face. You know, sometimes like when you're really mad. Yeah, that's a good angry face, right? <laughs> All right. How about when you are super energetic, like I'm sure some of you are. All right. Oh my goodness, so excited. Okay, three, two, one. Ah! Good job. All right. Now, what if you were scared? What if you saw something that was really scary? <gasps> okay. Let's make a scared face in three, two, one. Good job, everybody. So now we're going to be learning about making these emotions and how art can express emotions without necessarily having to draw our faces. So how is that possible? Well, let's think about it as we explore in our art journal. All right, so we just played around with our emotions on our face. Now we have to think a little bit more abstractly. Okay, so we'll go ahead and open up your art journals. Okay, and you're going to be on the next page after you've drawn your nature exploring. Okay, it's a page that looks like it has a, a little grid here and all that stuff, okay? Um, and we're gonna be learning today about um, I, connecting our emotions to art and learning about something called expressive lines and abstract art through this project, okay? So everybody say expressive line expressive line. So how can a line be expressive? We show our expressions by changing our expressions. We just did that, okay? But how can a line be expressive? How about a color? Can colors be expressive? Can colors represent emotions? Well, let's go ahead and think about that. 
you might want to have colored pencils or crayons nearby so that you can start to think about these. Okay, Our, we're going to be um, thinking it about emo an emotion and we're going to close our eyes and we're going to picture what sadness looks like or whatever the emotion looks like. We're going to think about what that color might look like. We're going to think about what that line might look like. Okay, so our first emotion that we're thinking about is sadness. So I want you to close your eyes and think about sadness. Okay, what do we think of as sad? With some colors or things that we think of when we close our eyes and we're picturing a color. It's kind of hard sometimes to think about. Do you have a good color in mind? How about a line? Do you have a good line in mind? To give you some ideas about lines, here's some lines that are very expressive. Which line do you would look like sadness. All right, you can choose whatever color you think sadness looks like. To me, right now, sadness looks like gray. And sometimes this can change, okay? But to me, sadness is like a gray blue. It's that color it's just not it's not very exciting and it's sad and I'm just not you know I'm thinking of the smoke that smoke makes me feel sad and the line I think the line kind of looks like this line to me maybe even smaller To me, that looks like a sad line. It's quiet. Kind of wants to be in a corner. Doesn't want to really move out of that corner. It's kind of just sad. Well, let's switch gears here. Joy. All right. How many of you have watched that movie um, that was all about emotions? Do you remember it? Sadness and joy. All right. So let's think about joy. What is something that's like so joyful and just so happy? Um, and you're like jumping up and down and everything is just so exciting. And oh my goodness. Oh, such joyful joy, happiness. Um, just super pleasant, okay? So, think of a color. And think of the line. For me, my color is going to be magenta, which is like a dark pink. And the reason for that is because, like, I do like the colors, like, Blue is probably my favorite color, but right now I'm thinking like I'm really excited about having a little girl. And so for me, magenta seems like a really good color to show how excited and happy I am and very, very happy and joyful. So I'm going to do this nice bright pink. Plus, it's just so bright and colorful and energetic. Like it looks so, it you know, how can you look at that color and be like, not like whoa they've got something something cool and hap happening all right when i look at these lines and i can make up a line too but i think something like a curly q line and you can draw that in pencil or you can draw it with the color that you choose angry
angry color. Well, I think a lot of us think about red as an angry color, right? Because it, it's like that like big attention getter. And you know, when you get angry, you can see, you can almost see red. So it just, it's so angry. Okay. Ah, oh, so angry. For me, this angry line. Oh, it's so like, ah, jagged and, and, ah, oh, ah, it's taken over. It's coloring in, ah. All right. Energetic. Energetic. Oh my goodness, how many of you are bouncing off the walls? Oh boy, bouncy, 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 fun, 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 fun. I think of yellow when I think of energy. I think of something that's bouncing. I might draw a different line. Okay. Boing, 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 boing. Boing, 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 boing. All right. Scared or fearful. I think of kind of huddling in a corner. Um, and being on high alert, but also just being kind of, you know, just not feeling great. So I'm going to do this color blue. And I think of the heart rate. My heart rate pumping. Content and happy. Hmm. Well, if you know me, you know that I like the colors like a mint, like a teal mint, aqua green. I think for me, like an aqua green is content and happy. And for me, I think content and happy, I'm that's that's a pretty basic line for me. I might be like pretty happy, so I think I think I'll be like just a super simple line like this. Maybe trying some some of it thick and thin like waves. Ah, so nice and content. Your lines can look so totally different because remember you're basing this off of what's happening in your mind all right silly and funny goofballs goofball i think of orange when i think of silly and funny oops there goes my pencil sharpener pencil I might have to choose a different color orange because this isn't orange. We're just going to go like that. It's a really close orange. <laughs> okay. And silly and funny. Uh, well, I don't know. Probably similar to the joyful, like kind of wheely. I think like sort of sporadic, like woo, is maybe like not even like, oh, like a little party. Little well, parties happening. Everything squiggles, squiggles. All right. So there are my emotions and how I would draw them with the color and line. How do you do yours? Let's go ahead and share what we see and what we did. So, you know, you can hold up yours in the class or show it 
and share it on Seesaw. Alrighty, so when we think about our emotion and our colors, did you know that there's actually something that goes on in our minds? It's actually when we see colors, we actually do feel things. And sometimes that has to do with um, some of the things that we're used to. Um, maybe a certain color makes you feel that way because it's like something that's your favorite color. When you see your favorite color, do you get really happy? So when you draw your favorite color, that makes you happy. And that's kind of what the, in the psychology of color is all about. It's about how colors make you feel. And for a lot of people, these um, colors actually have kind of sort of similar, uh, like everybody has kind of similar feelings about certain colors. Um, and they actually use that in advertisement. That means like the logos that you see on your favorite things oftentimes are um, because that's how we feel when we see these colors. So when you see gray, you're calmed. When you see green, you think peaceful, growing in health. When you see blue, you think trustworthy or strong or dependable. You see purple, you might think creative or imaginative or wise. And you see red, it's exciting, it's bold, it's youthful. When you see orange, you might think that it looks friendly and confident and cheerful. And when you think of yellow, you think of warmth and optimism and happiness. So when you think about that, that's still the same thing. We think red is super passionate gets a lot of attention. Blue is more confidence, okay? Um, sometimes safe, calm. Green, natural, stable, okay? Those friendly, okay? So these are just things that, that people usually have these feelings for, okay? Now, you don't have to feel these ways about these colors. Maybe you have a certain color that you really don't like. Or maybe that you're just thinking about what what that looks like. All right? But that's kind of when we use color, we have to know that color can really affect our emotion. When we draw lines, we also sort of feel things, right? And we can have a lot of different types of lines. We can have straight lines. We can have school wiggly lines. We can have polka dot lines. Da, 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 da. We can have zigzags. We can have one by one. We could have cloud shapes. We could have castle shapes. We could have a swirlies looped. Okay. So many different types of lines. And they all kind of have a different emotion to them. Now, when we see things and we have emotion, we express them in our face, just like we did at the beginning of class. So this is kind of how most people, like some, some people will show their expressions, right? So you might have somebody showing happiness or sadness or being disgusted or surprised or really not liking something, you're like, oh, whatever. Uh, or being angry or being scared. But I think a lot of you are more used to seeing these sorts of emotions um, through emojis, which I'm sure a lot of you love to use emojis or make silly faces on your mom or dad's uh, camera to make some silly faces. How many of you do that? I like to do that. Uh, so if you make silly faces or you show emojis like this, what it happens is we end up feeling certain ways. And just like these expressions, we've started to draw them as something that's easy to recognize. 
So these are easy to recognize things, right? We go, we notice those, we know what those are. So what we're gonna be doing, is we're gonna draw our own emojis. We're gonna be drawing our own emojis, okay? So we don't really necessarily wanna look at these. We might end up looking at this, okay? We're also going to be looking at our faces and seeing what expression we have when we're thinking about that. Okay. All right. So let's go ahead and get started drawing our own emojis with a pencil. All righty. So from the page right after our um, minds our colors page is where we're going to be drawing our very own emojis and you can see we have a chart and we're going to be drawing our emojis just like the emoji charts that you sometimes use what I've done is I took a picture of myself so that it's easy for you to see what emotion I'm trying to draw but don't worry you don't have to draw yourself you could if you wanted to draw in front of a mirror you can draw and you can take pictures of yourself on your computer and and do it that way um, or you can just use your imagination and try and draw what you remember or think you might look like you're going to need your pencil and we're going to start by drawing happy so i took a picture of myself happy and remember you don't have to draw yourself either but i'm going to try and draw myself happy so I'm gonna go ahead and start with a face, okay? And my eyes are like up like this, okay? And I have a nice, bright, happy face like that. And maybe I'll draw my face like that because I can make this a little silly cartoon. making it nice and simple. I don't want to get add all the detail, right? And I might add freckles. All right, the next one that I drew or that I took a picture of here is sleepy. You can see in my picture I've got my hand up I've got a yawn, okay? So, I don't know if I want to draw my hand, but I definitely, look at that yawn. Ah, okay? And my eyes are sort of slanted. Oh, and I got like one curl kind of going up like that. Uh, can kind of look, maybe I'll have my hand up, but I'll just do it like that. I want to think nice and simple. All right. Next is energetic. Ah! Look at that. My whole all my teeth are showing got my eyes super big like that and my mouth is all sorts of happy and I'm showing all my teeth off and yeah I'm trying to make them all look kind of similar all right so my next one is shy after that is annoyed then it's mad or angry then it's silly lol then it's scared or fearful and it's meh sad hurt then one you get to decide all right so i'm going to go ahead and draw my drawings really quick here um with a video sped up so that you get a chance to get started on yours. Mm -hmm. 